Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata. In this week's tutorial, I've got a little trick for you inside Zoho campaigns on how to use their dynamic fields to send a email campaign out, but the signature will change based on contact owner. Uh, before I jump into this tutorial though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below and let's jump right on in. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're trying to accomplish today is essentially inside the CRM, you have um, owner. In this case, we have this field for contacts called general contract owner, but it's a lookup field, uh, seeing who the various users are in your CRM that a contact um, might be associated to. So in this case, we have Zenata test and CRM Zen test. And what we're trying to accomplish is, is based on who the owner is, um, when we send out a newsletter, maybe we want that specific owner's signature at the bottom so the client can reach directly out to that owner rather than just a general overarching um, basic email. So to give it this layer of customization, what we're going to want to do first is check that the sync is set up. So by default, uh, we should already have these syncs turned on, and I won't go into that too much in this video. But if we look at contacts in field mapping, you'll see that I have the, the owner already mapped. But in this case, if you didn't have the owner field map, you would want to go ahead and go up here to edit and go ahead and add that. So we're going to run into an error in a second. I'll go over that, but let's go ahead and create the campaign. So when we create the campaign, we'll do a regular email campaign and we'll call this dynamic test. And let's go ahead and create some content. I'm not going to go into too much on how to send an email. There's plenty of other uh, tutorials we have on that. This is more of just how to use these dynamic fields. So we have a header, we'll call this newsletter and we have our filler text cool we have this newsletter made and what we're going to use now is if we look over here we have this dynamic tag uh, and here's where you can add custom paragraphs based on a certain field criteria in our case we're going to go ahead and use an image for a banner um, so we had that generic or general contractor but if we look at it, it's not pulling up. So, and the reason for this is, and this is the error I was talking about, is we actually have one more thing to map when we have um, some custom fields that we're trying to pull into our email campaign. So we're gonna wanna go to settings and we're gonna wanna go to merge tags. And down here, we're gonna wanna create a new custom tag and here we can go ahead and add the general contractor and we'll just call it owner 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 and depending on how clean your database is you may want to you know set up different defaults like in this case sonata consulting if uh, your database might be missing fields uh, another way, though, to clean up that is if we go into um, our segments, one of the, the filters we could do is general contractor owner is not empty. So based on that criteria, we're only going to send it to people that have an owner assigned to them. Um, so extra little tip there, but let's go ahead and dive into the email campaign. So now that we've set up that, that custom filter, let's go ahead and edit our newsletter now and let's see if we can get these dynamic fields to work. So let's go ahead and drop in an image. And now if we type in, oh, we named it owner. And now we can see we have this owner tag and then we'll go ahead and look at the owner name. So it's Zenata test. And we'll go ahead and apply and let's go ahead and upload our image so if we go ahead let's 
Let's go ahead and upload both of the images I created. So now that we have both of the banner images created, we'll go ahead and use this first one. And as you can see, we have our banner set up. It's just a generic banner. We'll make it look like a banner. There's nothing fancy to this. It's just a demo. Um, we could even drop in a link here. So if they click on it, it'll go to the website. Cool. So we have our first one set up. Now we'll go ahead and drop in another. And we'll do owner again, is, and then our next owner was CRM Zen test. CRM Zen test. And we'll go ahead and add this banner. So now we've got two completely different banners. And if we were to send this email to the segment based on the, the various steps I just showed you, you know, if let's say we had 20 people in our organization, you could stack them all here. And when this email is sent, only one of these will show and it's whichever one is associated with the deal owner. So this is just kind of a cool little quick tip just to take your, your email campaigns to the next level. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to drop the comments in the YouTube comments uh, below and we'll do our best to get back to them as soon as possible. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day, everyone.